hello everyone welcome to my channel so i'm going to be showing you how to avoid these creases on your velvet while sewing and how to achieve perfect seams as you can see so the first thing you have to do when you're sewing velvet is to steam iron the velvet from the back that is from the wrong side of the velvet so you know the velvet has a very shiny place that has little bit of hair do not iron from that part that is the part you are currently looking at now do not iron from there steam iron from the back now the second point the second tip is that you should always iron gum stay paper stay or warden on your velvet if you want to make a bustier or if you want to make a corset with your velvet this will give it stability and this will enable you so easily so it's important you don't skip this step the next step or the next tip is that before you cut out your velvet always iron your always iron paper stay or gum stay on the velvet because if you cut it out before ironing your gum stay or your wadding it will not look nice honestly it will if as a matter of fact you will not get the correct measurement so before you cut it ensure that you have ironed your gum stay your paper stay or soft gum stay on your velvet fabric before you cut it out so that you will get the exact measurements that is required for making your bustier or for making anything that you want to make sometimes some people do skip this process and then end up with a velvet piece that does not really fit what they are looking for so please always cut after you've ironed your gum stay on your velvet not before the next tip is that you should place cello tape on the footer and on the surface of the sewing machine while you are sewing your velvet this is because you know the good side has tiny hairs on it so if you want to enable if you want to enable free access and to prevent friction you have to place a lot tape on your sewing machine like so you can see how i placed it on my so that when you are sewing it will move easily on your sewing machine and there will be no friction as you can see but when you are doing this ensure you apply machine oil on this design on your machine so that when you are pulling off your cello tape it will not peel off the design from your machine but this is very important apply cello tape to the footer and on top of your the surface of your sewing machine so that the velvet will glide easily on your sewing machine and it will not have any friction and then create those creases that you can see at the beginning of this video now the other tip is that you should adjust the tension and speed of your sewing machine now the tension shouldn't be too tight ensure that it's between seven and six do not allow it to go beyond that point because if it goes beyond that point it will start creating creases on your velvet and then when you are sewing this don't go too fast try and go slow or try and go a bit just medium um, speed do not go too fast so that it will not cause creases on your velvet velvet is very difficult to sew yes <laughs> uh, this is what i've learned this is the hard experiences i've uh, i'm sharing with you and this is what i've learned over the years always go slow when sewing velvet do not go with the speed so this is the velvet fabric as you can see i've gone ahead and corrected this place by following all the methods i told you look at how neat this looks as you can see see how neat this looks very clean and nice so i went ahead and added corset cups for this because i was trying to make a corset i have the full video of how i made this on my channel i'm going to leave the link in the description box so that you can go and check it out this is the finished result you can see how beautiful neat and clean these seams are and yes this is velvet this is possible if you follow all the tips i gave earlier on you will be able to achieve clean and neat finish on your velvet fabric you can see how neat this look just look at these seams oh my goodness they look so neat and nice this is my experiences i've learned over the years and that is why i'm sharing it with you i also follow the tips and created this beautiful headband the video is also up on my channel go and check it out i'll leave the link in the description box it's very beautiful and you can see how this looks nice 
and so gorgeous. So if you have any issues sewing velvet, just apply these five tips that I've shared with you. I assure you, you, you the results you will get will be so astounding. You will be able to achieve clean seams like this. So please do not hesitate. Remember to iron from the back. Remember to add your gum stay or your wadding or your paper gum stay anyone that you have with you to avoid these creases ensure you have them handy when you are sewing your velvet always adjust your footer or the speed as well as the tension of your sewing machine don't go too fast and do not make the tension too tight so that it will not cause creases on your velvet material also use cello tape to prevent friction while sewing so that it will not cause creases if my video has been help helpful please subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up give my video a like and please stay tuned for more videos thanks for watching see you in my next video Thank you.